When I first bought this bike and it was delivered on the trailer, the main attraction really was that it was a CB750 at a good price. Really liked the registration number as well, but I wasn't really sure what I'd bought. It was only when I got it into the workshop, got the bits on that I'd got with it, the tank and the seat, that I could see they needed to do quite a bit before I'd have this as a bike I could ride around. Look at those stripes. Who the hell put them on the wrong way around? And the seat might be to some people's tastes, but unfortunately really wasn't to mine. If you look at the playlist though, you can see I've had a lot of fun in doing a lot of the bits and pieces to make this as a running bike. And now it's a machine that I could actually set off on a trip with a good expectation that I'll arrive back. And it's a lot of fun to ride. Although the first couple of trips out did involve a little bit of strenuous exercise pushing it back. Uh, but hey, it's a really nice bike now. What do I do next? Because to be fair, it is still fairly tatty. One of the thoughts that I've got is to turn it into a cafe racer. Now, before people throw their arms up in horror, please take into account this frame has frame number of a F-series bike, what actually really seems to be a K-series bike. I think it's a frame that had been renumbered 20, 30, 40 years ago, back in the 80s when it was actually taxed maybe. Um, I don't think it's anything I need to worry about at the moment, but I cannot make this into a standard K-series bike with the frame number as it is. So changing it into a custom isn't really destroying something that would have been you know, possible for a restoration. It's done 417 miles since I got it going again. So that's 417 miles since 1984. Obviously, making it into a cafe racer, the first thing that will be changed is the handlebars for dropped in some way, not too comfortable. I'll think about the switch gear, probably using the original switch gear. And the ignition switch and the, the lightings, uh, the warning lights, do need to be thought about and perhaps changed. It's had new tyres, nice Avons. The rims, which are, are not wonderful, I'm thinking of painting black. And I'll also need to think about the brakes, especially this sort of semi-drilled one. Whether I want to go for double discs at the front with nice polished uh, sliders. There's a few dints in the uh, mudguard, so if I cut that down, it's not really a big deal. I've already put on a nice Delcovic exhaust. And it's got lovely headers, which will clean up lovely. But the engine needs a lot of cosmetic work. The paint on it is absolutely dire. So I need to get that stripped off and really give it a nice clean finish. There's also a couple of oil leaks that I'll need to sort out. Luckily, nothing that's a big deal. You know, cam cover and such like. Considering pod filters, but I'm not sure yet. That's uh, one of the things uh, I'll have to think about. Might paint the, uh, the back hub black or even powder coat it and paint the rim black as well. And as for the uh, shock absorbers, well, the original ones that were on there were a little bit long and quite clean and quite firm, so I might use them. But the big change would be the seat. Obviously, a cafe racer style seat would be uh, more interesting, as would be the rear mud guard that will need a lot of changing. Positioning of the light as well. And this bit, which holds the mud guard on, would need to be chopped off and a hoop put on. The front of the bike obviously will look quite dramatically different and changing the indicators would be you know, quite a good thing. These are the kind of design cues I've taken from the internet. The dropped handlebars are obvious for a cafe racer, as is the seat. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is the style I'd go for but it's a thought. Obviously the black wheels and maybe black hubs as well. But I also have some thoughts about making it more of a, you know, flat tracker style. If you've found this interesting and you want to see what I do with it next, why not, you know, subscribe and watch our other videos or, you know, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching anyway.